Oshinoko, the anime known for its acting, idol industry, theater, drama, is actually the best, best battle shonen that's airing right now this season. Yup, the power scaling is on another level. Everyone is activating the eye powers. We already know about the double starring Gana that Kane has. Kana is activating galaxy level eyes now. And Aqua, it's not a dark star no more. I looked at it a bit closely. I think it actually is a dark hole. My man is transcending. The acting that everyone appreciates and loves doing is something that he hates. He must suffer in order to tap into that emotional acting. He remembers episode one and then it gets so edgy and it comes out in such a volatile and evil way. And I'm, I love this shit. It's so hype. Some people are upset that Oshinoko is being a little bit too... It's being like shonenified, right? With all these power scales and stuff. But it's exciting for me, man. It's super fun to watch. He actually bit Himekawa. I'm not sure if that's part of the script, right? Imagine he went completely ad-lib improv like Melt. And just like bit Himekawa even though it wasn't supposed to happen. Himekawa about to get fucking rabies, man. Let's begin today's reaction. Backstory. Backstory? Oh, episode one. <laughs> What the? That's weird. Seeing her talk and actually be on screen and all the shit that we never saw in season one, huh? Okay. Freshman or university? Senior year. Freshman, senior, bright and full of hopes and dreams. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, was the- did he draw blood? I don't think so, right? No, 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 no. Imagine if he actually drew blood. Like, he bit so hard, there was actual blood there. Then I'd be like, oh yeah, now he's fucking acting. <laughs> okay. The strings, the wires. <laughs> He's actually like a fucking rabbit dog. This is Aqua's emotional acting. Dude literally has rabies. He's just like a mad dog right now. Aqua's <laughs> This is so epic, but if you think about it, this is still, you know, theater play at the end of the day. Guess, it's interesting to think like, what is Akane thinking right now? Akane right now is like playing dead, but she's probably like, Yo, why the fuck is he yelling so much right now? What, what the fuck is going on, right? Because this is all this acting, but he's really going through it, right? I get it. He's really going through it, remembering the past trauma and all the shit that happens. They incorporate the emotional acting, but if you really think about it. Like, what happens when the play stops, right? Oh my god. Episode 1 again. Hate it. Hate Holy shit. That guilt he has, right? Because again, this ominous dark being is his past life as a doctor denoted by those glasses. The guilt he has thinking that it is his fault that he let Hoshino Ai die. Therefore, he can never live a normal life. You can't love anyone. You can't have a semblance of normality. You need to kill. Be an Avenger. But... In these moments, usually the cliche thing is to have a love interest pull you out of the darkness and have you realize that there's more to life than just your past and, you know, chasing vengeance. But that girl right now for us is actually not Kana, it's Akane, and she's saying, I'll help you kill. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because like Kana should be like pulling him out of the darkness, but Akane is like, yeah, I'll help you hide the body. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Wait? You're me. I am you. Yep. Yeah, 
また愛の声を聞きたスカウソ Embracing all that darkness man Holy shit And I know a lot of people might say that like He's being super edgy and stuff And he is being edgy There's all the right reasons to be edgy Some people have the wrong idea that Edgy somehow is just like an act of being dark No, edgy is just This is super edgy But think about it, right? He's just embracing all of those feelings now He'll envelop himself in the darkness And this is his path forward Which seems backwards But like Is he really just gonna continue to fall down and down like this? I really thought that someone would pull him out the soundtrack. Man, I would love to understand what Himekawa is thinking right now. Because I know that he's a super good actor. And what does he think of Aqua? To have some internal monologue would be amazing. Loses in the show? No, he does. What a bullshit power, bro. That's not fair. You're just shooting lightning bolts out of your sword. You got a hit. That should have been a lethal hit. Now, oh, come on. Aqua should have won. I guess that's the play. Okay. Tend to the wound that he says. <laughs> Tend to the wounded, he said. <laughs> and the girl that he fucking cut is right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Aqua's still here? What can Kana do? Wound Thank God this is just Oshinoko the theater play, and we don't actually care about Tokyo Bladers. But imagine in a moment like this in an actual serious like battle show. We have a wound transferring scabbard. This is some SAO bullshit, bro. <laughs> Transfer durability, baby! Let's go! Hey! She took all the pain! What? It was the good girl. The plot armor was not a plot armor. She used it to take the injuries of her enemies as well, and now they realize that Princess Saya might have been a good person after all. Melts alive. I guess so? We have a debt we can never pay back, man. Wait! Can we save everyone? Nando da te, Sugo no e, Gotsuno Siki de Mokitara te. Anotaki. The guy's hair. Right? The guy's hair. Okay, which, why was I thinking? Because like Aqua and Ruby are blonde. They're biological children of Hoshinawai. This is the husband, yet neither of them are blonde because the guy dyed his hair? Maybe. I don't know. Anotaki. Or he's actually not the biological dad and Hoshinawai was actually fucking the director who actually does have blonde hair. There's no way, right? There, there's no way possible. There's no way. Oh, wait! I'm getting it twisted. Sorry, sorry, the details are wrong. No, 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 no. This is the not the dad. Yeah, the dad gave the stalker the info, right? Right, 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 right. The dad gave the stalker information, I think. Did he? Because the dad and the stalker, there was some kind of connection there, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not completely random. The dad, he basically is the middleman right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is she returning back to life? Durability transfer, is it working? Do you think that the scabbard's gonna work on the real Hosh no Ai? <gasps> oh my god, it worked! <gasps> she saved! <laughs> hey, there's some light at the end of the tunnel during the theater play for Aqua. <laughs> she 
already is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking troll. That's so troll because we know that's is not reality, right? This is basically him having a bit of closure by having the theme of Princess Saya scabbard. He looks Princess Saya up and back to life, and he's envisioning that maybe it could have been my mom, and that's like the light at the end of the tunnel. But like. <sighs> <laughs> Wait! The final component of the acting is for Aqua's character to be happy. The Saya is alive, and this is how that emotional acting ties into it. I see. I kind of genuinely look shocked here. Look at that. Look at the look of her face on Aqua. Because it's like, damn, bro. When we're just on casual dates outside, you never act like this. You never show me any ounce of fucking emotions. But during the play, you crying over me? She looks shocked. <laughs> so much respect that we've gone from first name basis to last name basis. That's an interesting one. I'm not going to lie, bro. Himekawa didn't do shit. Am I crazy? They hyped up Himekawa as the rank one actor ever. Akane and Kanna popped off. Himekawa was just standing there, bro. I thought he would have his moment, but nah. They glazed him up, and then he had no moment of actual pop off. I guess there never needed to be. Like, Melt popped off for sure. Kanna, Aqua. You know, Akane. Himeko. I don't know, man. Does Ruby know that this is her brother's quote unquote girlfriend here? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure, but here's Ruby. <laughs> so like what? Do we do this every day for a month or is it a weekly thing? Will Aqua have to do the whole emotional acting every day, every week? Like when you do it just once, it's kind of cool. But like by the fourth time, I wonder like what he's going to be feeling like. It's like, oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> In terms of power scaling, Ruby is the weakest, huh? Like everyone here, I don't know. It feels like Ruby's really getting left behind, and I think that is the point. For Ruby to realize that even someone like Kana, who is part of her idol group, has way more other things going on. Even back at school, Ruby's constantly compared to her friends who are just going ahead in their own careers. And Ruby's just, what is her deal going to be? And yes, the best girl in frame is on the left side. Mama, I still believe she's the most beautiful character in Oshinoko. I yeah, bell pepper girl. I thought for a second, like, her egoist was about to take over and, you know, continue being like peak kind of, but I guess there's still this side of her. I think you're being too harsh on yourself. What? The By Hoshino Ai, the double star and gun powers, the possess. Yes! An enormous stage presence. See, this is the power scaling vote! The double star and gun! Kana is outclassed here! Hoshino Ai was possessing her, bro! Godlike powers. The emotional acting. How much of this was thanks to Akane? Because like I thought that all of this was coming from his own memories. 
And like he didn't even think about Princess Saya on the ground. Or at least that's what it looked like to me during the play when I was watching the episode earlier on. But it's now sounding like it's thanks to Akane it's that, that like Akko was able to do even more emotional acting and remind himself of what the death really was like. I you know. Sarat. I mean, both are, both are glazing each other. It's a good thing. Yeah. Wait, what happens with Oshinoko every time we're done like a huge play or the actual media shit? Aqua gets invited by geezers, they go off to dinner, and then they say, I don't have the lead, but someone else does. Here's a contact info. It's literally Genshin Impact Art Conquest. Do you know where my sister is? If you save our continent, we'll tell you. And at the end, it's just like, uh, check over somewhere else. <sighs> you tell me that the movie is something that Himeka prioritized more than the play? In my head, my head canon is Himeka didn't even give a fuck. It didn't matter. He was. Busy with the AAA title movie, bro. And this theater play, he just kind of half-assed it and still better than everyone else by playing Blade and being Blade. I don't know. Damn! Megane! Megane had two ongoing TV dramas at the same time. Insane! Oh, shit. I underestimated Megane's true power. Kana, they were proud of her. It's more like a lack of boyfriend that might make her want to be better. They're talking about Kana right now, right? Yeah, they are. What do you mean? It's cream of the crop. What? Yes, they're cute. Weaponizing cuteness beyond regular cuteness. Okay. Star quality, star mission. The star power system. We're getting a little bit more lore of the Oshinoko power scaling system. We know that stars are involved you know important you know those stars are in eyes no one sees it but us as the audience and whenever the stars are shown it's supposed to see that they're tapping into their true potential they're power scaling right now bro <laughs> melt yeah, I kind of was sick. Melt! Who? Who? I wanted them to glaze Melt and give him some credit. Uh, the sweet guy, I, I think this was the sweet guy guy, right? He was genuinely shocked by Melt's performance too, but, you know, if we're going to talk about who really peaked. Kana, Akane, Aqua, right? Those three really peaked. Raider-san! <laughs> What is it? Yeah. Yes, this is mentioned before, right? When we were still dealing with Abiko Sensei and trying to figure out like what makes people care. Like well, how do you tell if people are happy, right? When people have seen the show and they're walking out and they're happy, they got smiles on their faces, talking about the show. Nice. ゴタンだ。こうして人まず舞台の幕は降りる。おお、あ、that's <笑> So he was going around picking up different hair strands, different cigarette buds, and different things that could have bodily fluids to try to match the DNA to his, right? The whole strategy literally is, if we're trying to find our dad, we need to find different lab tests and see if the DNA matches ours, and I'm gonna assume that none of it matched, right? If he sat in the bathroom, 
then none of it matched. So another unfruitful mission? Black hole. It's probably that none of it matched, but what if like it did match? And now Aqua is shocked that who the dad actually was the entire time. One could have that interpretation as well, but intuitively it's probably none of it matched. But could you imagine it did match? And it's someone that he least expected it, and it's just like, oh shit. But the dark starring gun, man, it's still there. Ending credits? Ending credits? Wait, are we playing it again? Oh, it's literally the outro. Everyone's saying thank you, everybody. Different scenes, different roster characters. Everyone just applauding. All right. Thank you, Mel. Woo! Let's go, Mel Tarim. Sayahime. Background characters! Yeah, I don't know any of these dudes. These are all just background characters, literally. Wow! Looking like they're friends now, man. Obviously, he was shitting on Melt before for maybe some rightful reasons, but it was kind of mean. But I think he really gained. I think after Melt performed, he saw, wow, okay, you're pretty good. So he respects him now, so friendship. <laughs> I know Akane is enjoying this right now. <laughs> she definitely is enjoying this shit. Look at that blush, I saw that blush! <laughs> Kana's face, bro. <laughs> Star of the show. She's so happy about it. Goa. The end of Tokyo Bredo. Now, I'm not sure if that means that that was the end of the month of Tokyo Blade, right? Because obviously, after they finished the play, they were all out of costume. And then suddenly, end credit played, meaning. Finally, Tokyo Blade has ended. One month of screening is done, and we're all good? Or is this the first time it ended? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's still end of premiere? They put all their fucking costumes back after that moment where we saw before? Or maybe the ending shit was kind of placed in a different way where it makes me think like they put their costumes back on. <sighs> And that was another good one. They've already did another play. <laughs> Dude, Mega out of here. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Yo, he's peak right now. Look at him. He just... Where to part? Where do I part? <laughs> okay. 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 Oh. That look with alcohol being involved, did he realize that maybe he could ask some questions? I'm not sure. That look was very sus though. And like the DNA test, did it match or did it not match? It most likely didn't match based on his reaction, but what if it did? What if it actually did, bro? I'm going. Then you want Kana's gonna say? I'm in too! Yep, she's gonna say yes, right? I'm going. Oh, she's drunk, drunk! <laughs> Ginger ale, non alcoholic drink. Somehow she's drunk, though. Akane doing all the grilling, bro. Wait a minute. Yo, Melt. Melt and the white haired girl, are they. Nah, they're not anything, right? They're not anything, right? 
赤くんもどうぞああ悪いな Surprise Kyle's not trying to, you know, cook the grill the meat too and try to feed Aqua because Akane is just like, you know, doing all that shit for him right now. Talk to Pop. What about him? Yeah. Oh, he was saying that he was ララダイにいつ頃からいるんですかララダイはもともと演劇専門学校で芝居をやってた奴らが自分たちで Oh, there he is! <laughs> That's right, right there. Could you imagine the guy like that making this pose? Like, this is a long time ago, right? This is when like he was like a kid, like a teenager. Like it's crazy to see his GG make this pose right now. This girl kind of looks like Makima right behind. 学校の演劇とサークル演劇って違うんですかまあ学校によるが専門 OB や外部の講師を自分たちで呼ぶやりたいことをやりたいみたいなやつらで人を集めるのも大変だなワークショップで集めた人材使って何公演かも Oh shit, the star turned dark When did that happen? You guys notice that? Always checking to see Is the star light or dark? The mood shifted 使って何公演か回してもうやらん No, wait, wait It's back to light There's no consistency with these stars. You just do whatever you want. Okay, it's back to light now. Okay. And it's back to dark. Wait, come on. You Listen, if you want me to actually give a fuck about the power skill and the dark star shit, you can't just be swipping like that. Koba, what changed here, bro? Maybe the animation studio is just doing it for people like me. People that are... Obsessed with the star colors and they're just fucking trolling me. I don't know. And it's light. It's light again. Himiko. So we're gonna get him just drunk as fuck and spill all the beans. Let's do it. Oh, he is super drunk. このままあの人潰して。OK。Wait, what is he? Go and get that guy good and drunk. He's sending three girls to get him drunk right now, bro. There's two already with the bartender helping out. このままあの人潰して。OK。OK。男ってのは酔わせておっさんの恥ずかしい過去とやらを引き出すぞ。やり口悪い。It is a dirty trick, but it works. ルナです。Is she? 機会があったらな。ここはどうか。Oh, it's like washed actors. 100k followers on Instagram. Yeah, basically, like, you know, different contract work. You know, the, the, a lot of like the people that go into the idol industry, entertainment industry, they're not all gonna be stars, right? So there's like different shit you can do. This is one of those hustles. He just turned 20. For whatever reason, I thought Himeka was like pretty older. Like he seemed like a very mature, level-headed guy. But he's just turned 20? I could never imagine a 20-year-old acting like this. This is cool to see more of like Himeka's characters, because so far I have no idea what he's all about, but he's like, yeah. Shit gets messy at work, so I comes to, you know, hostess bars and different bars like this and get all the bitches here, yo. <laughs> Orange juice? <laughs> trying to get some secrets out of him, you gotta stay sober. He's so drunk, bro. <laughs> like, kind of like an orphan? <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> he just, yeah, flawed people are good. This motherfucker is flawed. Yep, they are gonna, t you know, absorb the techniques in a bit to fill what they're lacking. He makes us perfect like that. Found this orphan from a children's home, swooped him up, bro. Just scouted him right out of the orphanage. I mean, I guess he's not wrong. <laughs> Familiar. Whoa. Whoa, what is this cosmic domain? It's the acting of someone who's imperfect. Okay. 
まともな人間じゃないやつが真人間のふりを観察して世の中に順応しようとしてきたやつの芝居うん確かに欲しいなお前はつまらん演技をするやつだと思っただが終盤のやつだ面白いまあ俺の指導が良かったんだよ You didn't do shit, bro. I don't think Kyodai's. I don't think this guy actually did anything. Hey, Gotanda help, bro! Gotanda did everything for Aqua! This dude just sitting there, just giving judgmental looks, smoking a cigarette! Hmm. He's kind of like Gotanda for Himeko, huh? Right? Gotanda, like, raised Aqua like that, and he was like a trouble kid, and you know, we didn't have a parent anymore because of the whole incident. Kimiko was picked up from a child's, a child's home, right? Like an orphanage, and he trained him up. <sighs> no, wait, he's gotta be conscious. Come back here! No, we can't ask questions anymore! Oh, wait, Himekawa? There's no way Himekawa is the murderer. That makes no fucking sense. Sorry, is the dad. That makes no sh no sense at all. But like, the DNA test did not match. But Himeko might be the one to be the actual secrets. What does he hold? DNA test? Did it match or no? DNA test report. It can be determined that there is a high possibility that the individuals or have siblings who share the same biological father. We're talking about half... Siblings. Who share the same biological father. Wait a minute. But that's not talking about Ruby and... This is this, this... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know it's the same. De different moms. High possible individual half siblings who share the same biological but who are the siblings we're talking about right now? Because we're talking, like, you, you say siblings, I'm thinking fucking Aqua and, and Ruby. And it was all under Hoshino Ai. But the DNA test report now might be saying that Aqua and someone else is related by the same biological father. Is that Himeka? Himekawa and Aqua are somehow related? What, what are you talking about? <gasps> and therefore Ruby as well. Ruby? Aqua, Himekawa, all same dad, Himekawa different mom, because Hoshino Ai is our mom, but same dad, whoa, whoa, what the fuck, he's our step bro, how does this work, who's the dad, Himekawa, who's your dad, we don't know, because children's home, he's a fucking orphan, dude, this dad is going around just pumping kids in and just leaving, man, あなたの父親のこと。兄さん。Yeah, I don't think the step bro is quite quite correct. It's it's half bro, right? It's it's half brother. So what an interesting turn of events. And even why Himekawa and Aqua's acting may be similar, not only is it because both are products of, you know, a deadbeat dad where they're like outcast, flawed of society, and they were looking at how to properly act, right? That's that's kind of the implication there. But beyond that, there is an actual blood relation. What? 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 Who is that dad? Well, you know what? I think that even though we don't get the answers of who the dad is, and this is just more like questions, this is a very fascinating development with the murder mystery. And again, always at the end of the acting, what we do at the bars and the restaurants, that's what matters the most, right? Do they have similar mannerisms? Kind of. Maybe they do look similar. Of course, the hair color is different, but I'm still going to assume the blonde is from the dad, meaning Himeko's mom might have black hair or some shit, but wow. Wow, what is happening? Brother from another mother. Half brothers. And ima <laughs> imagine we never told Ruby. And Ruby starts to date Himekawa in a weird fucking weird way. <laughs> That's like is this in a different That'll never happen. <laughs> imagine the Wow. Today's episode was wrapping up the theater play arc and it was fantastic. We get to see exactly the emotional acting that you know, makes Aqua behave like this. But even if there's sad emotional acting, there was actually a good positive emotional acting as we remember that, you know, maybe Hoshino I could have survived. And that's how Princess Saya relates like that. I, in my head canon, 
Akane was not necessary for Aqua to act like this. Aqua could have done the same shit with just the fucking body pillow. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I'm not sure. But peak acting from everybody. Kana and Akane goes back to glazing each other. Melt Redemption arc is good. And the rest is history. We're here to figure out what is going on with the murder mystery. And now, man. Oh my god. A DNA tester in. Himekawa and us. We are half brothers. We share the same dad, different moms, but we don't have any leads because Himeka doesn't know who his parents are. So this is pretty useless information. It's not useless. It's good discovery. But how is this going to help? Does Himeka have contacts to his parents? I don't know. If we do, then perfect. If we don't, shit, can we figure out some way to get back to the parents? And also, you know, the director passed out and we still wanted to ask him questions regarding Hoshino Ai's and who she dated and the love that she found at, you know, La 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 Company. But other than that, a little bit more development, but even more questions here. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.